okay you are stock here right nothing shown no partition shown and see here i did browse and i went to usb right bootable usb then i am selecting one folder here right that intel pmd you are seeing clearly it's right and i'm doing okay right now you are seeing two things there right iastor vd.inf upper right bmd control and and next one is bmd manage controller right and i'm moving with second one right now right so for you it might work with first one or second one you can try both right try first one if not work then try second one now you see the partition here the, these are the partitions right and by selecting partition you can format it right now let's see what we have to do to fix this issue okay here you are seeing intel.com site right and you are seeing here available downloads 3 right rst.exe then non bmd for non intel and bmd.gif for intel bmd right and previously i shown in the video uh, that file in usb was this right intel bmd this one right depending upon that non intel or intel you have to choose this one right so download this right just click it it will be downloaded right then go to downloaded file and then extract right for example for this one extract right and for this one extract now you can see here uh, intel vmd and next one is non intel vmd right and go inside now copy this file and paste it in the bootable usb of your windows 10 or windows 11 right paste that folder right these are the files inside the folder right paste it and boot your system from usb and when you get that screen uh not no none of the partitions are shown there right then do the process that i have shown you initially in the video if any confusion then please comment below i'll help you and remember one thing uh if installation is success right partition is shown and installation is success then your pc restarts right after restarting if blue screen occurs right with some file missing or, or that bosod um error right blue screen then if that case is with windows 10 then try to install windows 11 if that case is seen in windows 11 then try to install windows 10 and you can try it like that right